We're back. <laughs> Round seven action. Jeffrey Saran refs ran. Kirk Dupes next to Bay. We've got a matchup for <laughs> We got a matchup for you here. Um, bunch of people. We're gonna get some lists here soon. Um, let's talk, let, let's talk let's take a minute. Let's take a pause for the cause. Trollandtove.com. Ten percent off your order using Greensboro on checkout. G R E E N S B O R O baby. Ten percent off. Also, if you're looking to make a little extra cash, so you can flex on your friends for St. Patty's Day. Check out their buy list. They're giving a they're, they're pretty good at uh, uh, their payout prices here. Pretty good. Let's take make a look. you happy. Make you happy. Take a look. I also want to throw a shout out to the awesome couple. So, I'm just uh, we're we're on a different level here. Round seven. Yeah, we're feeling it. It's, it's getting late. We're getting late. Trying to keep it exciting. Listen, when the when the hall energy goes down, Kirk and Jeff go up. <laughs> so we've we've got Jose Marrero. We've got John Ang. They're playing. Sure? They're playing decks. We don't even have lists. They're playing decks. Both 501. Putting together good tournaments. Both players are pretty good. So both the well know. I'm pretty sure both of them are both in the top 16 mix as well for North America. Uh, for sure, Jose Jonga, I'm pretty sure as well. And uh, we don't know what they're playing just yet. Uh, but winner, win, winning the game here seals up day two. Pot shot in the dark. Maybe they're just running back what they played last week, which would be Hitmonchan on one side uh, and Jose Marrero on Rayquaza. I would put money that Jose is on Rayquaza for sure. Pot shot in the dark. That's both what they played in Toronto. A week away, if they are if they were belabored with travel, uh, might not have tested, changed up their deck, and just yeah. said, I'm going to run it back. Also, Jose, unlike the rest of the ARG squad, really good about sticking to one particular yep. deck yep. and riding through and has seen a lot of success uh, using that strategy. So. Yeah. And he, he's, he, I think he's riding out Rayquaza this season, man. Almost from standard to expanded. It's just Rayquaza everywhere. Yeah, we, uh, we saw him uh, uh, playing Vicare in Memphis mm -hmm. earlier, uh, excuse me, earlier in the season at the end of last year. Um, and here he is. <laughs> We're telling you he's playing. He, we have no idea. We have no <laughs> deck list. This is a blank sheet of lined paper. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're we're working off uh, gut feelings here. Yeah, man, shot in the dark here. We, we'll find it. We'll find out eventually. I'm looking at a. I don't know. Can't tell yet. Can't well, tell. Draw, they're drawing opening hands. We'll get deck lists soon. Um, until we get that, we'll uh, we'll just run you through what we're seeing here. I'm seeing I'm seeing some uh, lightning energy, and some. Uh, that's probably Ray Plaza. Let's be honest. It's probably Ray Plaza. Just saw them put the headsets on. 94% positive John Ang is on Hitmonchan Wob, and Jose Marrero is on Rayquaza GX. We've got some lists. Lock it in, baby. Which one you want? Surprise me. All right. Uh, John Ang, four Wobbuffet, three Hitmonchan, Hit and Run, Buzzwool, Baby Buzz, Deancey Prism. Uh, was it Princess's Gift? Boosting that damage? Hitmon Lee, love it. Love, love it. it. Special combo. Great card. Cartana GX. Nihalego with the two prize. Uh, yeah, down two prizes, copy and attack. And the other one is Bumble. Void Tentacles, I think. Uh, uh, Oranguru, Instruct, and Shaman Rally Back, which means there's a counter energy in here. Yep, going to hit them uh, on Whales hard, but there's no Whales on Jose's deck. we got the Dragon Boy, Rayquaza, Huwo coming back from the discard pile to bring the heat, get that extra power there. And, you know, he probably added Oricorio in. They don't like losing a Night March. Yeah, that's just a safe bet. Again, you mentioned it earlier, Oricorio, a much more easily uh, techable card in these lists that use basic energies uh, to be able to use that big supernatural dance attack and really uh, leverage Night March's strategy against it. I'm curious how he's going to approach this one here. Uh, you know, uh, while John doesn't take very huge knockouts, he does them in you know, a couple jabs here and there, he does have Wobbuffet to slow down. Uh, you know, Rayquaza, the Hoa abilities there as well. So, curious how this one's going to play out. Jose crossing his fingers that he's going first and just wants to explode onto the board before John Ang can really start wabafetting and dealing critical amounts of damage with all the damage modifiers that mm -hmm. uh, John has through Dancy Prism, through Strong Energy, through Beast Energy, yep. um, through Choice Band, through Muscle Band. I love Karina in, the, in John Ang's list. Find you Hitmonchan, Deancey, Hitmonlee, 
Also, get you a Venturer's bag for a Float Stone and a Muscle Band. Yeah, it's like a pseudo, so like, like, like grab a Pokemon, get three items. It's so good. It is so good. Jose does run at Max Luxor as well, so he does have the option to be able to work around Wobbuffet, which I'm sure John's going to start because he plays four of them. Right down to the action. Jose on the button. Uh, John with his preferred starter in Wobbuffet. One of those new Ultra Balls, uh, Ultra Ball promos. Uh, three cards down there. And just a Tapu. Lel. One or tag. Down. Gonna find support here. Probably gonna get. Hmm. Ooh. I, I guess it's really us options here. Look at the list. Either Enter Cole or here. Professor or Slickamore. There is a Professor Slickamore. It was hidden. I couldn't see right there. He said Slickamore. I like that. Well done. Professor Slickamore slid, slid to the front. Full art. Looking good. Jose also uh, one that likes to operate it with Max Bling. Yeah, he's he's Max Pockets right now. Looking like a pawn shop in there with all that <laughs> bling. Ultra Ball coming down. We got there. I can't tell what that full art is. Is that so two, is a Rayquaza? Looks like he's about to drop. Is that Tapu Coco GX under there? Definitely a Rayquaza on top. Uh, the the shine. circuitry one to two. Circuitry coming through. Oh, every no. every energy in John Ang's deck except for one fighting is special. Bro, he's like he went right out. The only thing he could do right now is attack with Wob. <laughs> yeah. So oh, this is gonna this is gonna be good. So. Full Heart Zerk coming down. Flashing head ability. Can't take damage from Pokemon mm -hmm. with special energy attached. Or was it Rumbling Wire? Rumbling Wire. Discard a top card of the deck. Drop 100 damage on the active. Doesn't even want to attach the Lightning Energy. Interesting. Do we misidentify what that card is? I'm pretty sure it's a Zerkatry GX. That is a Zerkatry. No, th that's 100% Zerkatry out there. You can tell by the red sparkly things, the arms. Like that's what you call them, right? Wire arms. Battle compressor. Uh, Ho-Oh rebirth. Pulled to the front and... Guzma. Is that a Guzma? Another promo Guzma. I like the art on the new Guzma. It's taking me a little bit to get used to it there, but we, we, we digging it. We digging it's it. Guzma with the whole whole crew. I love it. The gang's all here. Uh, another ultra ball. Just a pass. No energy attached. Hmm. John Ang nest ball off the top. Strong energy. Might do work here, uh, but not against Zerkatry. Yeah, we're going to see a hitball tan fly right to the front here. I'm, I'm sure John's be looking for a float stone. Uh, maybe get the Diancy out as well. Try to do some uh, instant damage on this fighting weak Zeora GX. So that is, in fact, what is in the act. Uh, isn't it more odd to you that uh, wouldn't attach and retreat to the Zerkatry um, just to protect it? Well, the thing is, with Bad Barricade, he doesn't have the, the Thunderclap ability there. So with two retreat costs, that's heavy to have to try to retreat right away. See, that's why we work together, Jeff. Yeah, man. We, we pick each other up. Pick blend each together other up. like a good milkshake. <laughs> Strong energy coming down on Hitmonchan. Guzma in hand. Uh, John, I believe, was on stream last week and got the rough end of the stick against mm -hmm. Trev. Um, might not be too poised right now if he likes to pull up probably the Tapu Lele, yep. which he does. And the thing here, though, is going back to what that point we just made here, is that Zeora is two retreat cost. Now, lately, there's only one retreat cost. Yep. Max, Max Elixir, Elixir coming down. Dowsing Machine. Here we go. 14 energy to go through. Does he hit the one? I see a grass. All right. Does he get a lightning? It stinks that the first two discards were those lightning energy. I think one of his thoughts there also was to look at doing a full voltage GX to bring up the energies out of this car pile to the Zergatry GX. That's why he may have discarded those there. Full voltage, uh, pseudo to uh, what? Turtonator GX with the nitro, nitro tank. tank. Yep. Uh, look at your uh, search your disc pile for up to five lightning energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon, or attach to your Pokemon in any way. Yep. Attach to your Pokemon in any way. Very strong, very strong GX attack. Um, also fun to look at all the different types of GX attacks. Massive damage uh, from the Nitro Tank full voltage to the Lightning GX to mm -hmm. boost prize cards to um, um, Big Wheel. Big Wheel GX. Big Wheel. Go Ultra, Trampa. Ultra Ball coming down. Searching the deck is Jose Marrero. Okay. Shaman coming down. Shaman Prism Star. Going to hit 30 times the number of all the energy you got on your board. Cost that attack? Double Two grass. grass. Two grass. Um, I don't, I, the, the, uh, what is it, flower something. I want to say it's flower power. I'm going to say it's flower power. It's not what it is. That's 100% uh, not what it is. But that's what I'm going to go with. And just another sycamore for Jose. 
Uh, going through a lot of cards, yet only finding one energy on there. Mm. Bit odd. Mm. I see a tell me a lot of prize. We're a lot of chilling all together, clumped up in the deck right now. We're about to see off this Max Elixir. Going to get another one. Needs a lightning energy. Flower Storm. Grass. Flower Storm. You're on the right path. Flower Storm. Grass. Probably not attached to Shaman here. That's where I would go. Uh, I believe Circuitry's Attack, Rumbling Wire, is Lightning, Lightning, Colorless. So we got here Max Elixir, to the Shaman. Up at top, another Grass Energy. He may be holding on to this right now, or he's going to touch the Shaman here, because the next energy <laughs> attached is going to be the retreat of that Lele in the active spot. Or maybe just a pass here. Uh, take your time. John Eng did Guzman the first turn. That doesn't necessarily mean that he actually has anything. However, Karina off the top, I believe, will unlock um, the ability to uh, get perhaps Deancey, a Floatstone, mm -hmm. Muscle Band, and mm -hmm. uh, give Wad to retreat. And we know he has Sycamore in hand, too. So maybe it's just slowly building up your board position, making sure it's optimal before you start um, executing your hit-and-run mm -hmm. strategy. Yeah, we definitely want to see the Pride of Dancy in that uh, adventure bag here, if at all possible. But it looks like he's eyeing down. Is that the Hitmonlee? That is a great way. Hitmonlee doing 90 uh, can <laughs> snipe that Shaman Prism off the bench with that special combo. If you used Hitmonchan's hit and run the previous turn. Oh, that's another Hitmonchan. Unless he put it in the hand, he maybe had the other Hitmonchan. I can't tell. But Hitmonchan is on the bench. Counter energy on Wobbuffet coming right back up. Ah, okay. All right. Tapu Lele soaking up some damage here. Taking another 50. Do you see a versus Seeker here? Can going to be another Sycamore. Jose going through a lot of resources. Is that a Stevens Resolve? That's Guzma. Or that's the Guzma. These, uh, these promos, got to get used to them. These new arts that are yep. coming out. Guzma, going to hit, what was it called, Flower Blast? Flower Storm. Flower Storm, 90 damage. And Hitmonchan has how much HP? 90. That's a knockout. And that makes the uh, John Ang's attachment of the counter energy even better. Um, at least has full value. Can at least ping in for 10. Yeah, I was looking here if John had a counter catcher in his list at all right now to bring up that Lele to attack with Wob. Uh, so right now, Wobbuffet not going to be doing too much damage right now. But uh, teammates going to grab uh, probably the strong energy and Dancy just to get enough damage there to go over the top. Thinking he's a uh, muscle band too if this Shaman does resist fighting. I know sometimes the Skyform Shamans uh, may have that resistance there. Um, it has no, no resi resistance. So this uh, all he needs is uh, strong energy, Diancy, uh, to take the KO here. Wob also, he just did the, the hit and run for the 50. Wob finds itself in the active. Uh, I believe that's a focus sash down on the Hitmonchan. And now Jose has to navigate more waters. The Shaman being leaned on pretty heavily with not a lot of other energy on the board for Jose. Ooh, Colrus coming down. Nice league promo Colrus. Uh, Going to draw five cards here. I'm still surprised. I mean, I guess he hasn't hit the lightning energy just yet. Um, that's probably what's, what's been going on outside of that first discard to really start loading up the circuitry. So I'm hoping he can find one here uh, to start setting that up for when his shaman ultimately falls. Five cards for Jose. Finds uh, Tapu, Tapu Coco. Coco, but with the Wob in the active, won't be able to use Dance of the Ancients yet, but that doesn't mean it's not on the horizon. Well, actually, this is perfect for it now because uh, Shaman's about to KO this now that he tested the fourth energy, hitting for 120 damage. So Dance of the Ancients next turn could co go live. Strong energy off the top, or excuse me, strong energy in hand versus Seeker off the top. Um, John needs to get another Wob down, another attacker. Uh oh, this could be a stuck point here. I mean, Jose is as easy as a field blower away from taking his game and moving on to game two right now. Uh, it looks like he does the first seeker for teammates. That's the one thing about teammates that's a little bit unfortunate. If you're in the thick of it, exchanging knockouts, teammates, best supporter you can find. Yep. If you're struggling to get set up, sometimes you just need to ride out play a Sycamore, mm -hmm. discard your hand, draw seven, and hope that the two cards you would have gotten are in there, plus a couple more that you need. Yep, exactly. And try and, and get back in the way through card quantity, not necessarily With 
card uh, quality. We call that Bon Jovi living on a prayer, trying to get everything you need. <laughs> Hit and run. <laughs> Going to take a prism knockout here. Now, interesting to note, yes, Bide Barricade does shut off Zerkatry's flashing head ability. Um, Hitmonchan needs to attack from the active. So, <laughs> unfortunately, when Hitmonchan does need to attack, uh, flashing head is flashing lights <laughs> and, and keeping Hitmonchan down. So we just need one more lightning energy here to attack with Zerkatry GX right now. And you, as you mentioned before, he won't be able to do the Dance of the Ancients here, but... Going to do that Lightning GX to take a card from his hand and put it into the prizes here, resetting him back to six. Has the option of what is that? And, uh, and Sycamore. Sycamore uh, Hitmon Lee, maybe. Hopefully. And Versus Seeker. Jose can't really punch a hole into this, so he's got to look past this point. Um, Ho John is going to have availability of any, uh, not any draw supporter, but a draw supporter. Versus Seeker, the clear choice. At least take him off of teammates. Yep. And make him uh, perhaps discard his hand with the Sycamore. Yeah. I like that play a lot more. Now you're just gutting all the resources that were in his hand. Anyways, you punch a hole in that versus Seeker so you can't teammates. Um, I mean, in future, obviously, the John only Jose thing did I not take it. The only thing I might have like counterpoint to that as well is that maybe you do put the Sycamore or end back, knowing that um, he unless he top decks something great there, he's going to probably Sycamore the hand away, knowing you're not getting a KO. So uh, now John knows that whatever if he wants a verse seeker, he can get it right now. Both sides, though, work out, work out very evenly. A Rangaroo ability currently shut off. However, John Eng's deck built to get that by barricade deactivated so Hitmonchan can hit into it, hit and run into it. Uh, so, of course, when Hitmonchan is in the active, that's when you try and leverage that try instruct. Mm-hmm. Jose at four prizes, fighting energy somewhere. Zerkatry is weak to fighting. So if John Ang can find his baby Buzzwole and his fighting energy, could have. Oh, and, Sledgehammer. And, and a way to retreat, could have stepped up with Sledgehammer, taken a big knockout, and removed every ounce of energy on Jose's side of the board. It looks the way that John's posturing here. He didn't quite uh, get all that, um, which is slightly unfortunate for John. Hasn't really, really been able to get too much traction so far. On to uh, Jose here. See back pressers. He's some Rayquazas in his hand as well. May not use those just yet here. I think we're at the point of where he's probably just going to thin as much as he can and go in on the Zerkatry. Zerkatry takes out the uh, knockout of everything on his board except for the Wob uh, and the Orangaru also there. So um, two-shotting, unfortunately, for most stuff there. But the viable cards are one shot. Yep, and there are six energy left in Jose's deck, I believe. Uh, um, three... Three of them were lightnings, uh, and that's, of course, uh, the other uh, energy that Jose needs to start using rumbling wire. So, Jose taking a look. I like benching the Tapu Koko Prism. That's a way to kind of get around it. Sycamore, J Jose has burned through so many cards, and his board does not look like he's seen 45, or does mm -hmm. not look like he's seen the 70% of the deck that he actually has. And that's the trouble with the Wob Active, too, because now you're not able to, do, you know, use Rayquaza to get energy back in the discard there and accelerate like you normally would. Wob really putting a big uh, wall in front of uh, Jose's strategy here. Finds the, the grass energy does not find does not find the lightning energy to be able to start attacking. However, um, Nihilego all kitted up. Uh, is it? I believe it's Nightcap and Void Tentacles. Nightcap only usable uh, when your opponent has two prizes left. All right, going on to Johnston. I believe that's Oracorio on Jose's side. Uh, getting ready for the, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Supernatural, Supernatural Dance. Dance. Going to get jiggy with it. Na-na-na-na-na on the John's turn right now. Beast energy and choice ban to the WAP here. So I guess he's, uh, you know, out of the resource of finding float stones and often to try to mainly attach here and retreat uh, the following hit and run. That was, uh, that was my bad. Mixed up the deck list here. <laughs> John has the Nihil Lego to, to leverage uh, the nightcap attack. Jose does have the Oracorio, which we mentioned at the start of the match here, which makes infinitely more sense based on the composition. <laughs> so I apologize for that misleading piece of commentary there. John just forced to pass. 
Lightning energy rolling off the top. All right. We're about to finally see this uh, see Zerka Tree start attacking. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Computer search. Rumbling wire. Oh, man. Just discarding all the, what was it, two energies? Two big-time energies the last time we yep. saw it going. And uh, this is probably the most this attack has ever been named in one day. <laughs> Rumbling wires, getting rid of the computer search, unplugged all the wires and threw it right to the discard pile, office space style. Wob in the active, prism energy, going to be attached. Are we going for the hard retreat here? Hard retreat indeed. Uh, John really trying to not give up a prize until he finds baby Buzzwool fighting energy. He's got the basic fighting in hand. Yeah, and that computer search would have done it right there, too. So, <laughs> Unfortunate noise there. Let's see uh, how Jose reacts to this here. He may be looking to do – actually, one that he could do also is, you know, Zerkatry again is a wob, and then if for some reason Zerkatry was to go down or Coria was ready to take out those last two easy prizes. Zara Aura being, uh, being uh, handed a grass energy, say, hey, do something like this, maybe a little bit later, versus Seeker <laughs> off the top. <laughs> John's like, man, oh you just hit gas. Ooh. Another wob. Ooh, nest ball. There we go. There's there's the buzz. Now I need a way to retreat. Does he have a flow stone in hand? Okay. Nest ball moving pretty quick. Adventure quid. bag. So All right. Good. There we go. Adventure bag. Going to grab at least a float stone. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And Jose's like, he's moving awful quick. What's in my future? It's a sledgehammer, Jose. It's a sledgehammer and it's coming down beef. Oof. Oof. John says, I'm tired of your rumbling wire shenanigans. Beef. It's all right here. So, uh, rest are coming down here. Jose can't, de will be able to, oh, actually, I don't know. I don't know how many Pokemon are in the discard pile. That rest stretcher Maya just took that play out of the way there, not knowing how many Pokemon are in the discard pile. We're going to get the chance right now. Uh, let's see here. After he cussed the deck, is there at least two Pokemon in there to pull off the play? I don't think there is. No, I don't think there is either. I don't think there is. I don't think there's John any Pokemon a. in there. He just literally just cleared up every every type of play Jose had in mind. Is completely washed away now with the Sledgehammer attack from Buzzwool. And Jose's been going through his deck faster than John. Clearly, resources J are probably gone. Not a lot of resources left. We do know uh, there's about four energies left in deck for Jose, but where do they go so you can actually attack and do damage? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What has he got in his hand? I believe it was grass. Grass or a couple Rayquazas, maybe? Well, he can, um, d you know, uh, use Rebirth. He can use Dancing of the, uh, uh, Dance, Dance, Dance of the Ancients uh, to do the energy there. He can uh, bring back Rayquazas uh, and do, the, do his attack there. So, a couple. I mean, he can get loaded up here to return KO, uh, but looks like he might be, okay, Coco GX, Arrow Trail coming to the active spot, going to do some Sky High Claws. All one, right. 130 is a good number. It's a very good number, conveniently. All right. I like that play there. Despite being a lightning uh, type Pokemon, no uh, no fighting no weakness for this tap. No weakness tapu. at all. All right. So, Jose says, I got life in me yet here, John Ang. Don't count me out just okay. yet. Ooh, benching the shaman, and that's 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 tight. Like like because Hitmonchan on the bench already has what two strong energies on it as well. That's scary. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, two strong energy would bring the damage up to seventy. Uh, choice band, Deancey, another damage modifier. We, we, there? It's possible. And remember, he's he's the second attack too, and it's not sky uppercut. It's Magnum Punch. I do I do have that there. Magnum Punch hits for seventy. Uh, rescue Stretcher going to throw Zerkatree, Shaman, and Rayquaza back into the deck. Um, well, that's a really small. That's like six cards. That's like a, maybe ten. A small deck. I think Jose's really leaning on this Tapu Koko GX to take at least two to three prizes. Don't forget. Well, the big thing here is, though, uh, the, how many, how many Stretcher does John play? Is just a one? Uh, uh, John Ang plays... One rescue stretcher, Jose plays two. So here's the one Pokemon to the discard pile. If uh, Zero can take one more KO here, that's not those two Wobs, or Corio can sweep the last two prizes on those Wobbuffet. Ooh. 
Shrine of Punishment. Ooh. Shrine of Punishment gonna put a lot of pressure on Jose. Makes that shaman a little bit squishier for uh for uh, Hitmon Chan. And here's a tough thing too. Hitmon right? Lee, if you get two kicks, yeah. Hitmon Lee can come in. Well, Hitmon Lee can already see that Layla in the bench. That Layla is already scared right now. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to Bruce Lee kick to the face right now. Okay. <laughs> so what the, the the big decision here is if John gets the energy on the Hitmon Chan, does he go after the Oral Choreo, which could take two prizes right now, or go after the Shaman? So, with Jose, three prizes left. I think you just and you're at and you're at four. I think you chase your two. GXEX knockouts. I think you let Jose use Oracorio to, you know, bump the two wobs, and you you start <laughs> trying to start scissor kicking to the <laughs> to, to the bench. To the, that's the thing right now. Like like Jose can't just yet. There's only the buzzwool in the discard pile. So John, John Ang trying to make Jose Marrero catch these feet. <laughs> Special combo. There's the goose. He's going for the Lele. Okay, so, oh, okay. man. So that makes the Hitmon Lee play even better because there's going to be uh, a Oh, tick. Shrine, Shrine, and then Hitmon Lee into the dome. Yeah, Shrine tick one, Shrine tick, tick back, two. Hitmon Lee. Hey, y'all! Coming through. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be this is gonna be a tight little finish right here. Focus Ash on the Hitmon Chan. Can't disrupt that. Uh, John hasn't put down the Hitmon Lee. I think he's been sandbagging it, uh, just keeping it in his hand. Jose's gonna have to bump this stadium and also take a K. Uh, like, it's a tough thing right now. Like, do you go for. No, there's only one Pokemon in there. Like, he, if he could leverage, you know, get rid of the stadium and take a KO on that Hitmon Chan on bench with a Guzma or something like that, uh, he could do the Oracorio play next turn, but it's just he has to have those pieces. And I'm not sure what he has left given all the cards he discarded from the Sycamores. So we've got uh, Instructor Ranger. What's just south of that? Another Hitmon Chan? Uh, uh, it's either Hitmon Chan or Hitmon Lee. I feel like if it's the Hitmon Lee, Jose knows to make a play on it immediately because yeah. that's how he loses his game. Well, even even the, like both of them do. Like both Hitmon Chan and Hitmon Lee, you know, puts the pressure there. But the biggest thing is is stopping that stride from getting that second tick. We got here. What we got here, Jose? Do we got the field blower? Do we have? Do we have at least that piece? Versus seeker right off the top, or is the top card in his hand? He maybe look at the chorus here, but then you're forced to the K on the wob. Yep. And then Hitmonchan has come up and, and hit the zero for weakness. That's completely. Uh, is that Guzma? I think he has Guzma hand also, but I think he needs a way to retreat, which means I don't think John Ang has benched this Hitmon Lee. I think he's been sandbagging it. Yeah. Uh, so he has the promo Guzma. Asking John. So you, yo, do you pull up a Rangaroo and then Oracorio and trying to just Oracorio you around? Th you, you can't Oracorio around, but you're doing one at a time. Because it's, all, it's literally just a buzzle in a discard pile. That's it. But that might be. That, I mean, that might be your way out of this. It's just. Okay, eyes up to Guzma, brings up Oracorio. Yep, there it is. There's a take one at a time. Hopefully for Jose's sake, uh, we miscounted, and there's actually two in there. Nope, that is a one. Here we go. Shrine took it away. Does he have the play? I see Ultra Ball. Another wow, Shrine. Wow, Karina. That's Cartana, actually. Ooh. Is that a Cartana GX crew? Oh, yeah, he only needs to take, yeah, needs to take one more KO. If he can somehow get this Oringer at the active there, he can just Cartana GX for game. But that's the thing. Does he have a way to get this out of the active? Three Floatstone. Two have definitely gone down, yep. for sure. Uh, two Guzma. Uh, only plays. Is that, is that Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee coming to the pit? Yeah, that's, that's Bruce Lee. John Ang has selected his fighter. It is, it is Hitmon Lee. <laughs> Wob, he's going muscle in. Muscle band. What's this last card? It's, oh, he's gonna try to get the instruct. He wanted out the instruct. I see floatstone. I don't think I see the energy though. I don't think I see the energy. Oh man. Okay, so. Oh, it's a shaman. It's Karina. Karina. Okay, so we're setting up for next turn. Wait, was there even any? Just, okay, there's a verse seeker. There's only one energy left in deck. There's just one prism energy left in deck. Two prism energy. Okay. Here's 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 what I would like to see out of this deck because you play Karina, um, making Karina stronger in the late game would be like one copy of Energy Lotto. 
Can you imagine? That's like Karina for Energy Lada. Okay, here's that the here's nuts. the thing here too. Um, or Just Corio taking a KO on that Wawa bench does not activate teammates. No, it does not. It does not activate teammates there. So, John only has Verse Seeker and Hitmonchan in hand right now. So I, maybe he's he's open to like Verse Seeker for like a Juniper and just go in to hope to find that Prism. His deck's pretty thin. I think that's exactly what he's eyeing up. Shaman right there. It's gonna come out to this next turn right here. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay. And John oh, gets another shot at it. This is great. This is a great game right We're now. We're down to the wire. Jose finds a way. And the fact that now there's there's just another poke in the discard, so Jose gets to soften up another Pokemon with um with supernatural dance. Here we go. With this John get the energy that is what we're looking for one of the two prism energies left in the deck and a way to retreat oh it was a sick he got sick of more in his end what is jose eyeing up jose stop playing with us i want to see the hand it's rayquaza uh, rayquaza stormy wins are you gonna stormy wins question mark the, the thing with Stormy wins is so dangerous there you might lose like a first seeker in guzma Yep, no Stormy Winds, not willing to sacrifice the resources to get an extra energy on board. Supernatural Dance will put one here, one here. That's a knockout. Give me my prize. All right, here we go. Lightning Energy off here the prize for Jose. We're going what for did John get? He says, don't forget your Shrine Ticks, my friend. That's a real thing. Here we go. Bob. Sycamore. Is it going to happen? Are we going to hit the Prism? Instruct, Instruct for first. One. I dig it. I dig it. See the maximum amount of cards. This is net plus one. It's good. Does have Sycamore. Teammates. That's the thing, though. Yeah, so Hitmonlee isn't activated yet until Hitmonchan does hit and run. So unless. And just scoops, scoops, it scoops it up. Scoops it up. Jose fades the one turn window. Jose fades the one turn window um, to, to find. For John to find a way to get Hitmonlee mm -hmm. into the active and skates away from a win. We misquoted ourselves there. Or according to Supernatural Dance. Does trigger teammates. What we were thinking of is poison damage knockouts in between turns does not trigger teammates. Okay, so I thought it was damage counters that was being placed on the, on the Pokemon there. That's why I didn't think it activated teammates. Wonderful, wonderful table judge. Uh, up, uh, we went back to, to Drew from the first couple rounds okay. last week. Had a great performance. Definitely something Drew, uh, Drew would have learned us in that moment because yep. John did teammates, took a look at the deck, and was like, okay, let's go to game two. However, 20, is that 22 minutes? Oh, geez, that was a long game one. Yeah, that was a very long game one. Um, very uh, unimposing game mm -hmm. one. And Jose taking a very interesting strategy that worked out for him. Yeah, Jose, you know, while we saw a couple things there that we thought was a little bit different there, is uh, definitely a strategy in there and he had in mind there from getting to the circuitry, hopefully try and get to that uh, – uh, the, the Zero Order to bring back the, uh, the energy there with the GX attack as well. Um, but had a plan in place. Or Corio putting his last few steps in there. John tried to hold it back, though, with the rescue stretcher. Delayed the inevitable for a few turns. Um, but ultimately, that Guzman plan there, Rangaroo was able to seal it up for him. Jose wants to enact the same game plan. They're already down to the action. They, they did, took no time. No time to set up. Hitmonchan in the active. If John can't pivot to this Wobbuffet, uh, Jose will at least get one turn of his powerful abilities unimpeded. So we do see here. John Ang looking to play a Karina. Probably just another Hitmonchan Adventures bag. I've got, I really like that. Does have a Floatstone in hand though, so maybe that's not worth going for yet. All right, here we do see. Uh, what's that? Was that a floatstone? Was that adventure bag in uh, Hitmonchan again? I Couldn't believe tell. so. It does have the floatstone in hand? Adventure bag, never, never a bad card. That's just card advantage. It's either adventure right? bag or the. No, nope, just adventure bag, floatstone. So there it is, Hitmonchan going to the Wobba Foot. Has another one in hand, and he's he's moving fast. He knows a lot of time was ticked away on that last game right now, and has to put the gas, to the, the pedal to the gas right now to get the, this the game going right now. Battle compressor. You know, with the both Rayquaza matches we've seen so far, ho has never came into play. Nope. No uh, flips and nothing. Uh, Nada nan nothing. In one matchup because it simply wasn't used, and in this one because Wobbuffet's mm -hmm. always been in the active. Pseudo Wudo Roadblock, not going to have a lot of effect with Wob in the active. Um, Guzma Promo and Rebirth Ho-Oh. Another bat and, 
And uh, those are what came off of the battle compressor that Jose just played. Jose taking a look, eyeing up a dowsing machine, wonder, not wonder, I was going to say wonder ball, ultra ball, <laughs> rebirth ho-ho, -oh, and a grass Near energy going through wonder the disco. Ball. Interesting that Jose's pitching the uh, grass energy. Um, Tempest GX, always a very strong GX attack on the first turn of the game. He maybe already has a, the Sycamore in hand is why he's opting to do that. Maybe, or maybe he has like the free retreat and wants to, I don't know, a couple different things. He probably has a supporter in hand, though, but he's not going to go for that Tempest GX play. Has an attached for turn, that is to note. And Sycamore pitching the dowsing machine. Not what you want to see in turn mm -hmm. one, but you do what you got to do to find yourself some cards. You see lightning and grass there off this one right now. If I'm going to go straight to that Zerkatry GX, load that up. Jose just going to let this uh, Rayquaza sit up front, take a little bit of punishment here, and just a pass. Just electing to keep that uh, Skyfield to bump a shrine. And just an N, going to rinse uh, rinse Jose's hand, going to give him six new cards. <coughs> John going to need to find six good ones of himself, or for himself. Would love to get, um, would love to get 70, 70 to, to 90 damage on yeah. this Rayquaza. Preferably 90, so it's like a clean two-piece. Clean two-piece there with the Diancy and a strong energy would be, you know, the best the best scenario there. Uh, a Rangaroo coming in. <laughs> Diancy coming down and fans the energy and has no way to get his hand any mm. thinner. So it's just a pass. All right there. They can saw like another Rayquaza there, some grass energy as well. There's the there, Choreo. There's the gangsta dance dancer coming down hot, and the other dancer coming in to do a duet. Get the, can we call him the Dirty Dancing Duo? Can we say that? Check with the producers. We can say it. Yeah, Dirty Dancing up. Duo. Thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> Versus Seeker. Versus Seeker coming down, buying back. Professor Slickamore, seven new cards. It is to note that the energy attachment for the turn did go on Zerka Tree there. The that, grass that, energy. That, that grass energy. Um, lightning energy shouldn't be too difficult to find in a deck with seven. However. <laughs> not one in that not, hand. Not that <laughs> Shrine off the rip. John Eng versus Seeker for N plays N. Conserving uh, that resources. Um, there was a couple uh, good draw supporters in his hand. Uh, wasn't time to dump those just yet. Lex for the N. Jose gets another chance at Lightning Energy now, though. Just needs a retreat card, uh, which his only option is Guzma. Finds the energy. Finds a couple energy in a computer search. We're, we're, we're going to get some, uh, gonna get some uh, rumpling wires going here. 30, 50, 70, 90, 100 on this Rayquaza GS with the Shrine of Punishment. John, uh, <laughs> John helping him out. Say, Jose, come on. Let come me get on. some damage on here for you. You worry about your turn. I'll get the damage out here. Yeah, man. I know how to count. Let's go ahead and start this off party for you, all right? Battle Compressor pitching up to three, minimum one. Got to pick one with Battle Compressor. So he may actually, if he has the computer search in hand or the Guzma, he may ditch a Lightning Energy and probably some Rayquazas here. Because he can Guzma up. Uh, attacker there, do the Ancient Dance, attach some uh, Lightnings back onto the board. Uh, yeah, we don't want to see no Sheamus down there. Easy KOs. We don't want that on there. Um, but we'll see what he got. Uh, grass here. Ultra Ball, uh, Shaman EX, Rayquaza. All going to go to the discard. Not going to find themselves uh, coming off the bench in this uh, in this matchup. Mysterious Treasure to the front of the hand. Jose does have options to keep digging. Max Elixir, not the worst, but Lightning Energy already in hand. There's I like Guzma. this Guzma. There's the Guzma. Lightning in hand. We're going to see a KO on this Hitmonchan. Is he going to play the Mysterious Treasure? Probably hold off here. Does he set up another attacker, though, with the Elixir? That's the other question. Yeah, because Jose knows Fighting Energy is in the deck. Buzzwool is in the deck. And that's a clean, <laughs> clean answer to Zerka Tree. Mm, mm, mm. Hit, hit, got to discard a card. It was a Verse Seeker right there. So we got to hit my chin. Diancy, Wabafoot, and a Rangaroo on bench, bench right now. John needs an energy to keep this trend going preferably in a basic fighting form, but he may want to hold that out until Sledgehammer comes alive. 
Jose down to five prizes. Really just needs to worry about that four prize turn, not get caught with his pants down when uh, that buzz wool comes into Sledgehammer and take a clean KO. Oh, there you go. Counter energy on the wild foot there. Guzma up the Rayquazji X. Psychic Assault, 10 plus 10. Going to take the KO here. Nice and clean. Yeah, 10 plus. However much damage is already on that Pokemon. Great, great series of plays by John there. Um, we saw him attach the counter energy, maybe alluding to that in game one. Didn't get to leverage it too well. Mm -hmm. uh, but there it is, stepping in, putting him ahead in the prize race, putting him down to four prizes. And Jose, on the button, needs to hit into these awkwardly HP'd 110 HP Wobbuffets. Yeah, just, just shy there. No electric powers or anything spicy like that in the list to take it over the top. But, uh, I mean, I mean, with how much time is going on right now, um, and really not a way right now for John to take, you know, efficient KOs on this board right now. He's, he's, he's fine. Just, you know, go ahead and just tack with the 100. Just tack 100, discard. Tack 100, discard just for a few. You mentioned before that Jose does need to prioritize getting another attacker going. Um, and that needs to begin right now. Um, whether it's with an attachment and a max elixir, just a max elixir. Here we go. Seeing a max elixir. Uh, definitely hit a, a lightning and a grass. Lightning comes down onto the Rayquaza. Mm, what did I miss here? I like Jose pausing for the cause, double checking which what type of energy is in the discard, what type of mm -hmm. energy is in hand, and what type is in play. Um, you want to attach the lightning there because he has gone through more lightning energy, so there's a higher probability that he sees grass energy in his deck to be able to attach it and meet the uh, the energy requirement yeah. of. Rayquaza GX's attack. Good assessment there here, and a, and a well played end here. Uh, gonna bring John down to three, uh, three or four, I can't tell. Uh, four uh, cards in hand right now, given just a one KO so far, so. Shaman? Uh oh. Max Elixir. Here is might prove your point here with hitting his grass energy off this Elixir. Oh, just whiffed that there. And, it's a, and contrary to exactly what I just said, Jose finding his hand littered with lightning energy <laughs> for turn. So just going to attach that to the Rayquaza GX, making sure that there is another attacker uh, back up there ready to go. And a knockout. Shrine ticks. Looks like the uh, Rumbling Wires was able to take down a not the Nihilego to the discard pile here. But Wabafoot is at uh, 100 damage right now. And counter energy is no longer in effect. Counter energy is no longer in effect. Again, only providing two of any type when you are behind on prizes. And uh, John leveraging it incredibly well to get back ahead on prizes on that previously damaged Rayquaza GX. John got to navigate these waters, though. That flashing head ability giving him a lot of issues. Again, flashing head. Giving him flashing headaches what it's doing right That's now. That's exactly what it's doing. Kind of like us this morning when we got solar flared. Solar flared. We, <laughs> we, um, Lost my train of thought. Let's continue. Jose Marrero on the a pass over to, uh, to Jose's side there. He has an elixir. Dropping it down to Oracorio there. We're not sure how many Pokemon are in the discard pile. I want to say at least three between the, K, uh, the KO, Nihilego, and I think there might have been one. No, it might just be the two. Might just be the two in the discard. That is a clear sign of a Professor Slickamore drawing seven. Skyfield going to bump the, uh, the shrine. I'm not going to say too late, but you never want to see it tick three, yeah. tick, tick, tick through twice. Let's see here. What's in his hair right now? I think I saw another elixir. Looks like an elixir requires a GX. Jose taking a look at the discard. John Ang, I like what he's doing to respect the time. Whenever his opponent's picking up the discard, he's going to pick up the discard, and that's when he's going to do his checks. He's going to overlap those actions so that he's not losing that time on his turn. So got to appreciate John really fighting for, uh, fighting for a way to win this game, too. Attention, Pokemon TCG Jr. Ooh, Lightning GX, GX. going to slow down the flow a little bit. I'll probably going to put that Shrine. Tyson Hillard. Uh, shrine, easy bet. Up. Oh. <laughs> 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 said, gotcha. Is that was the long con. It's like, hey, you want this shrine? Off the top. Off the top. Here we go. And, and going to give Jose five cards. John, four. Another uh, moment where John didn't want a Sycamore there. Uh, a lot of good resources left that just couldn't be applied at this point in time in the game, but would be uh, crucial in the late game. Mm -hmm. So don't want to get rid of those just yet. All right, here, John going through. There's a prism energy there. However, 
Doctor, if not a way to uh, combat with this. How many uh, cards left in his hand? Three. Uh, he added a card off the Lightning GX. Yep. There. Yep. So, how come he was able to Psychic Assault? Because Wabafet's in the active. Ah, By Barricade, right. my there friend. By Barricade. Flashing Head. Not doing much against By Barricade. <laughs> However, Flashing Head's going to be able to take a knockout here. Uh, all the more important that Jose gets another attack together. Looks towards the Shaman, which is interesting. Ooh. Just needed uh, Grass Energy to kind of complete the 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 Dragon Break circuit to be yep. able to, to unlock that attack. A big Chorus here going to be for eight cards. Jose got to feel comfortable about finding a Grass Energy for his Rayquaza mm -hmm. in that eight. Doesn't need it right now as he uh, already attached. However, going to be important down the road. Oh, yeah, this is looking strong right now. I'm sure he has the grass energy. I and I spoke too soon. Um, <laughs> Elixir gang, here we go. One, two, three, four, and there it is. Second grass energy right there. There's the other grass. Shaman ready to use Flower Storm. 30 times the amount of energy on your Pokemon. Doing a quick discard check here to see what all he's used so far here. Zerkatry going to take this knockout here to bring him down to four prizes. And then it's in John's court to try to catch him back up in this game. He's going to need that basic fighting here. And He's going to retreat. Jose oh. feeling the pressure. Feeling the pressure on to, the Waba Fed. We're going to Orcorio for the easy KO. The easy dance. Orcorio going to. Maybe, maybe if there's two, you soften up the one Wob and you put the other Wob at 100. Yeah. If Zerkatry ever has to step back up into okay. action like and it, take a knockout. Yep, there's two more. There you go. You had a call there. Oh, he puts on the Hitmonchan instead. Okay. So that, that signals to me that Jose is completely off the Zerkatry train. Doesn't anticipate attacking with that again uh, because Hitmonchan is easily sorted out by the other Pokemon that mm -hmm. Jose has, uh, has available to him. I like the retreat also there because it makes the, uh, the Sledgehammer not as powerful uh, when it does come up here if it, with the, if it does with the basic energy. So... Um, or Corey, a big thing here also, resist fighting. Sure does. It sure does. John committing to teammates here means that that Zerkatry is going to be safe on the bench uh, because nowhere in John Eng's list do I see a counter catcher. I, I just saw Jose there took a look at the teammates there, trying to see exactly what the wording is, and it's kind of what we did a little while ago with Or Corio saying it places damage counters, but teammates in general says when a Pokemon is KO'd. It doesn't matter by damage or not. It's just if a Pokemon is KO'd. John trying to decide what two cards to grab off of this teammates. Looks like he's going to try to do a verse secret chain. Um, it, is wor it is worth noting for John that he doesn't need the Buzzwool fighting energy right now. Yeah. Um, because of that Zerkatry having um, so 130 damage, damage on it, yep. just the Sledgehammer for 30 doubled up 60. Uh, mm -hmm. That eclipses the 100 and 80 HP of Zerkatry. So not necessarily where John needs to be right yeah. now. So that, that's worth keeping in mind as well. And as well, the Shrine's still there too. is ticking away the damage as well. So um, that's almost like two prizes there. You can know you can get it any time. Two prizes selected for John. Going to try to do some work here on this Oracorio. And just going to use Sledgehammer right now. Say, I challenge you to take this knockout. And uh, John maybe going to use Rescue Stretcher, uh, if still available in deck, mm -hmm. to buy it back later on. And that's how uh, gonna going to steal a KO on that Zerkatry. Especially an even clearer sign is that Buzzwool came down and uh, picked up a Prism Energy to take that knockout mm -hmm. as well. Shaman stepping into the active. No surprise there. That's big damage. Uh, there One, two, are... three, four, five hundred and fifty. 550, nah, 150, there's five yeah. energy done, yeah. times 30, 150. Yeah. yeah. 550? Yeah, 3,000. <laughs> okay. All right. Math here in Greensboro. Jose taking a look. Rayquaza coming down. No Wobbuffet in the active. Can Stormy wins. Elects to pass on that opportunity. Drop his lightning energy. Picks it back up. <laughs> Let me slide it under this Rayquaza. Zerka tree might give Froggy again. Picking up a, a lightning energy off of that. And don't forget, we still have that Rayquaza. Lightning energy is a bound grass. Much more <laughs> difficult to find. <laughs> the grass is struggling right now. It's on the struggle bus here, hanging high in the trees right now. Lightning coming down hard. I'll tell you what, Ka Tapu Koko GX would love to soak up all these lightning energies once it hits the bench. 
And coming down here, going to bring John to four. Jose also to four. We'll see how they uh, how this turns out here. There's a lot of lightning energy, though. Shaman's going to hit hard here with that flower storm attack. Oh, computer search and a sycamore. John's and a rescue stretcher. John's chilling. John's chilling. He's like, thank you, Jose. I appreciate that. Early Christmas gift. Appreciate you. <laughs> um, Did he already attach? Nope, nope. He thought about it before. That's Th right. Thought about okay. it before, elected to end, and then probably found the lightning again. And I uh, was like, yeah, I guess I'll attach it now. All right, there are four minutes and 55 left on the clock. Can John pull it out here? Needs two KOs here on some GFs to take the game. Well, easy one, easy one's on the Shaman, and actually has another easy one if he can find his fighting energy on the circuitry. Mm -hmm. So John really has to just take a good inventory and make sure that his next two turns count. Mm -hmm. Hitmonchan already in the active. Teammates is gonna give him one piece of the puzzle for this turn and one piece of the puzzle for next turn. Along with, if, uh, if what you saw is correct, along with computer search, which is definitely in there, we just saw it, yep. um, John has a way to cobble this together. Just make sure you know what's in your deck, make sure what's in your hand, and have a carved out game plan to execute for the following turn. Cross your fingers that Jose doesn't elect to uh, end you again. So here's the big thing here right now. Uh, Hitmonchan cannot KO the Shaman. Hitmonchan, I'm mostly going to be able to do 30, uh, 50, and then... So no, 70 HP. Okay, so Dancy is out. So it will be able to KO the Dancy at least there off his teammates. Um, but, you know, Jose knowing that John just teammates for cards here right now, knows he's going to have the, the plan in play to uh, hit the circuitry. It's going to more than likely end this next turn. Venture's bag will find Muscle Band, Floatstone, and those uh, those often seem to be the uh, the tools of choice in that bag. Let's see here. What else do we have in hand right now? Choice Band. The floatstone on the Hitmonchan allows John um, to pivot into this uh, the other Hitmonchan on bench that is carrying a uh, muscle band and I believe a strong energy uh, as well. I like this play better. Okay, so I, I see. I was thinking he might have held a computer search for next turn, but he's often to use the computer search to get a shrine of punishment right now. That circuitry already at 140 there, just needs four more ticks away uh, to get KO'd by a shrine. And depending on how many Skyfields have already uh, Jose's already gone through, that's going to be very. Oh, he has one in hand. <laughs> Jose has a Skyfield in hand. We're good. The party's still good. Clean instruct for three. John with three more cards. Um, so John going a little bit, m maybe a little bit more all in than I would have uh, personally, mm -hmm. um, because 30, 50, 70, 90 has the 90 damage already. Yeah. Uh, because of the strong energy on Hitmonchan, which is, I believe, what that is. The yep, muscle band, energy. Hitmonchan, energy were all attached and yep. were all placed down at once. So if that's the case, I like holding on to the computer search and really ensuring yourself a Guzma, a good instruct next turn mm -hmm. um, to go after the Zerkatry, especially because you had the rescue stretcher at one point in time. Uh, let me make sure the Shaman goes to the lock zone. Yep, Drew's right on it there. I want to make sure uh, Shaman gets there. Rayquaza GX coming to the active spot right now. There's a Grass Energy and a Skyfield in hand. He uh, he did already put the Shrine away. Ah, uh, bump that last Shrine. How many Shrines does he have? Three? I think that's all three of them in the discard pile. Yeah, you're right. So we I actually, uh, we were working off the uh, information uh, that John was at three prizes. Uh, you mentioned before he was at four, and I corrected you to three. Um, you can actually see the three how they're sprawled yep. out right there. And uh, that completely changes why John went through the, that series of actions and uh, cleans it up a little bit more. Jose down to two prizes, John at three. John right now in a little bit of a tough spot right now, but he, I mean, it, let's see, does he have a way to bring back stadiums out of his disco pile? I do not see anything in his list that would do that as well. So right now he's just in chain mode with the Hitmon chance of promoting Wob, but there's just not enough time and play and not enough damage out there as well to really, you know, slow this down. Rayquaza GX hitting hard right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 210 damage. Yeah, that's Dragon uh, Break. <laughs> that's dealing, that's dealing some real damage out here. John taking inventory of Jose's deck, mm. seeing if he knocks this out, if Jose even has another attacker to bring into play. Taking a look at the energy sitch. John going to take a look, but he's, I mean, he's got to start hitting and running. 
Well, I mean, we, we do know. Ooh, well, he used hit and run last turn, mm -hmm. um, which means Hitmonlee always open. Yep. Hitmonlee takes a KO on Zerk, um, provided the fighting energy. This is, this is such a tough spot, honestly. There, So I almost want to say, like, if he had a Guzma in there to do the first hit and run on the opposite Rayquaza, one with six damage, and drop that down a few um, there. John taking a look at Zerkatree, making sure he understands the ability. Is going to grab Hitmonlee and Fighting Energy, as I had just mentioned. Yep. Um, going to get two prizes and Great. maybe figure it out from there. Yep. <laughs> See what Start you somewhere. Get. See what you get on your prizes and go from there. Jose needs to two knockouts, and John needs two GX knockouts. Hitmon Lee has a, a Guzma. Do you tr and a Focus Sash, and a Focus Sash. But but the big thing here is how does John take the second set of prizes here? Without Shrine taking away, he can't get the circuitry right now. He can't KO right now. But 90 is not enough to take out some of the Rayquaza, and you have to hit and run first. So he's going to need. Let's see here. Hit my chance of strong energy right now. 30, 50, 70, 90. Another strong energy put in my 110. Still short on the Rayquaza there. He would have to like field blower his own muscle band and add it make it turn and turn into a choice band to take the KO on the Rayquaza on bench, which is still possible. Possible. No field blower and on uh, ah. John Ang's side of the board. Jose mm. might just be holding on just enough of this late game barrage from John Ang. Mm. Hitmon Lee has been impressive. However, only when it ends the game. Only when it ends uh, the game. It seems a little, it's, it's awkward once, once the game ends and Hitmon Lee is still in the active. I think Jose's going through right now to see if there's any absolute way that John can pull out this KO here. I do not see it uh, right now. Wobbafoot at most can hit for uh, was that it, it, while they're not even behind our prize, the so counter energy came to come into effect there, so that's not going to happen. Um, the only other option is if John were, was to <laughs> Jose just played field blower, that's an easy way. If John was to uh, find his counter energy and use his shaman to rally back on the Rayquaza on bench uh, with the muscle band, that could be KO on the Rayquaza on bench. That's so much. And he only plays one copy of Counter yeah, Energy. We saw that. We saw that go down the early. Wob, so, mm. John Ang just a little too late, it would seem here in round seven in Greensboro, and Jose taking uh, a real long inventory here. We are in turns, so yeah. we're not we're not soaking up clock here. Just making sure the correct decisions are being made. And Jose goes with the safe bet, announces a knockout. Turn two versus Seeker. John Ang is moving fast. John Ang is moving. Cartana GX. <gasps> Blade GX. Blade GX. Blade GX. <laughs> Blade GX. <laughs> Blade GX. He takes it. Blade GX. Oh. Oh man. We, we just like straight. I, I, I mentioned it game one. I completely forgot about it for game two. You know, when we're watching the action and we have a list of sixty different cards, especially in expanded with all these one ofs. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Still working on it. Yeah. Still working on it. Got to keep all that mental inventory locked yeah. in. Cartana GX. What is that? Uh, Blade, Blade GX. GX. Blade GX. Blade GX. Blade GX. Don't even need Slice Off against the basic energy <laughs> deck. And Man. he had the teammates. You saw it. He was just itching yep. for Jose to take that knockout or pass yep. the turn. It was just like, ooh. Man. Blade GX. Man. Well fought, John Ang. Way to, way to find the outs. Really never gave up on that second game, despite having it be down to low amount of time. Able to come out with a win in game two, forcing a draw. 5-0-2, still a great record still here at Greensboro. Spot. Still a great spot, man. I mean, you're still I mean, one win away uh, from, from getting there. And uh, with the attendance there, I mean, we, we've seen it last week. There were 1-6-3 did get in there, so 18 points still. Uh, a number to hit there to possibly go day two. But, um, yeah, still a great spot. Two more chances to get that win and solidify that spot in. Uh, I'm getting a day two. We went a little bit past time, so no guarantees on an interview. Uh, however, I'm getting the heavy head nod that we are doing an interview. So in that case, we will be right back with a player interview.
Welcome back. End of round seven here in Greensboro. Here with uh, John Eng, who managed to kind of pull the, the Blade GX off, <laughs> find a way to win. Uh, mentioned a couple uh, things that wasn't uh, – you weren't too proud of your, your play that, that round, but yeah. walk, walk us through at least the, the tail end of that second game. All right, so um, initially when he uh, had bumped my last shrine, I was like, okay, it's uh, probably over. I knew I had Hitmonlee and the basic fighting energy to kill the Zerkatry, but I, was, I, I had known and it, like, I, in my head I was like, okay, but I mean he just passes. I can't take my last prize card because time was called, and I, the game would have ended with him winning. Um, so I still went with it. Uh, and then I managed to uh, somehow attach a Focus Sash to my Hitmonlee. And uh, ev so even if he had wanted to take the knockout, it would have lived. And I wouldn't have been able to do the whole Cortana Prism Energy play if I did wanted to. But uh, so, yeah, that was a bit of a yikes. <laughs> I, um, he, luckily for me, he played the field blower. And he sat there for a little bit. And he was like, I could, tell, I could see it in his eyes. He was like, I know he wants to pass. And like it was correct to pass. Like I, there was no way I was killing anything big on his board, and I would have just lost. But um, he took the knockout on the Hitmonlee, and that wasn't it yet, because I had my hand was Sycamore, Karina, Guzma, I believe. So I needed, I, I was on the first. I needed a Sycamore into the Cartana and the Prism Energy. So I was like, all right, I still need to hit a lot. But uh, so I put up the Hitmon Chan with the Floatstone. But I top decked via Secret for teammates, and the two cards were there. That unlocks it. So uh, as you mentioned, a bit of a yikes, but you navigated it well. Yeah. And uh, you know, part of the game is. Letting your opponent play yeah. into the outs that you have left. For sure, So yeah. definitely commendable there. Um, 502 record. 502, um, yeah. I believe you played this deck last week in Toronto. I did. I got 16th. 16th. So obviously a terrific finish. Uh, felt comfortable with it. Any changes from last week to this week based on how the tournament results panned uh, out? Yeah. Last week I played a list that had a little more text in it. Eh, I wouldn't say more text. I had Shuckle GX in there. Uh, I hated it all weekend. I... Uh, I didn't have any basic fighting energies. That was one of it. I don't have the one ba basic fighting energy now to deal with Zerkatry. That was the second Zerkatry I've run into today. Um, and the third time I've been able to pull off the whole Buzzwool fighting energy and blow them up thing. Um, and also, the thing that I, one of the crazy things I played this weekend is uh, Shaman Counter Energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really good for Whale Lord. I played against a Whale Lord round one today, and uh, that match made the matchup pretty much free. So you're able to rally back with a uh, choice ban yeah. to, to hit for the 300. Yeah. Um, obviously still in a great spot, but still a little bit more work to do. Uh, yeah. What deck would you like to see coming up next round? Zekrom. Literally Zek anything yellow is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can respect that 100%. And there are some that kind of made a resurgence this yeah. week based on people stepping away from it. Um, so best of luck to you. Round Thank seven you. in the bag. A couple more wins, and then we'll see you off to the races in day two. John, awesome. thanks for Thank joining you. me. Appreciate it. And we'll be back with Round 8 action in Greensboro. Thank you.